Hello guys, so this is the Ulta Dumpster Dive haul that I was promising I was going to um, show y'all a while back. And I'm just now getting to it, I'm sorry. I've been extremely busy. But anyways, first thing that I have here is a electric um, Urban Decay palette. And it did come in the box, but I took it out and it says on here $49. And as you can see, it's broke like right here. That part's broke. And then some of the some of the eyeshadow shadows are like chipped out. But the other ones are perfect. So I was super excited about that. Because I've I've always wanted to get this, but I never did. And now I've got the crap all over my hands. Then the next palette that I found, this is a Runaway Eyeshadow Glamour palette in Berry Bloom. And it's just these colors here. Then I found a um, Seven Ways to Seven Ways to Bear by Bare Minerals. And it looks like this. And then, let's see, you have all of these little things, which I've never used any of this stuff, so. Oh, it's, set, it's smoky eyeshadows is what it is. See, I've never used any of this stuff, so I really don't know what it is. But each individual um, tube or eyeshadows for like the smoky look. So that's sweet. Then, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out because it's in a bag. Um, I found this um, men's cologne. This was brand new. As you can see, it was in this wrapper wrapped up. And I opened it. My husband's, in, my husband's been using it. So, yeah. And he looked this up and it was like $89. So, that was free. I wished I found more, but I didn't. That was the only one that I found. Found some of these Rivera hair clasp things. There's three of them in here. Found a volume, voluminous, I hate that word, smoldering eyeliner. Looks like that. A Rusk Therma Flat Iron um, Serum, I think it is. No, Flat Iron Spray, sorry. Kind of tired, but I wanted to get this up where I can get this stuff put away. Found a It Cosmetic CC Color Correcting Cream, and it looks like that. Then I found a Mally Liquid Face um, Primer. A, I guess it's Caught Sensitive um, Sunscreen. Then I found some of this, I don't know how to pronounce this, I've never used it, Stilia, I don't know, Stay All Day Prime and Anti-Shine Balm, Primes, Mattifies, and Diffuses, looks like that, found another one of these, this is the Bare Minerals, um, Kit. I found one of these a few months. I guess it was a month or two, a month or two ago. Um, let's see, on the other one, the mirror was broke, but this one's perfectly fine. And then you have this. It's got the brush and everything with it, and it's got these. These are in the color lot. So I need to try this stuff. I've never used it. I've still got the other one. But I freaking scored that day. Then there's um, two brushes. There's a Wigo Europe, I guess it's how you pronounce it. And then there is a Revlon one. It's a hot pink one. Which, this is China Glaze, now polished, but it's broke. So that's got to go in the trash. Found a... Um, Let's see, Ready Bare Minerals 
foundation and it looks like that perfectly good stuff and I'm sorry about this light and I'm in my bedroom and it's dark it's dark outside and I don't have good lighting then there's a Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation in the color Bare Caramel. And then another one in Bare Satin. So let's see. What they look like, and they look like this. So that's freaking awesome, guys. I shouldn't have to be buying any more makeup forever but I always do because I mean this right here will last me a lifetime then I found this this is broke it's a sculpting palette and it looks like this I know you can press it and like fix it back so I'm gonna have to learn how to do that where I can fix this and use it then there's a Becca shimmering skin perfecter pressed in Moonstone or something and that's cool packaging so and it's dang it it is broke so I'm gonna have to fix that I need to get on the internet and look up how to fix this stuff I'm gonna set this one up here until I fix it then there's a stay flawless 15 hour primer base by benefit There is, they've got this stuff taped with, there's a Professional Sebastian Potion 9 Lot. It's lightweight, wearable treatment styler. Looks like that. A berry, bubbly, raspberry, and apple 3-in-1 shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. And it was... $12 and they marked it down to $5.99 so they must have couldn't sell it and they threw it away. How redonkulous is that? This was in a case but I opened it up. It fell out and I opened it and put it in my purse and then I put it back in this bag. But this is a crap. This is a Kardashian Beauty Mascara. And it looks like that. It's just black. So I need to put that in my makeup thing and use try that out. Then I found a It Cosmetics by Jamie Kern, I guess. I have no idea. Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder. Looks like that. Hope this crap ain't broke. Let's see. Oh, what? Didn't that say finishing powder? I don't know. Let's see. But, but yeah, that's what that is. So I'm super excited to try all this stuff out. Then there is a medium brown. What is this? Color mark. Gray. I don't think I'll be using that. A meltdown makeup remover. There's just, and in that box that I showed you right here, this was in here. It's a nail polish, and it's supposed to glow in the dark polish. So that's cool for Halloween. There is a Wave Create Sea Spray Transforms Hair into Tussled uh, Windswept Waves. Ooh, cool. I like scrunching my hair, so this is going to be awesome for that. See, they take the freaking pumps off on most of these. Ooh, this smells really good. It smells real like coconutty, and just smells really good. Then there is a. Do you pronounce this Lorac or Lorac? I don't know. It's a Porefection Mattifying Face Primer. You can tell I never use. Or buy this stuff because I don't know how to pronounce it. Then there is, let's see, the Supernatural Philosophy Road Spectrum Sunscreen Poreless Flawless Tinted. There is a, let's see, what's this? 
Falsely Professional Strength Healthy Hair Follicle Nourisher. Promise the scalps helping amplify the aid or helping amplify the effect of other treatments. I don't know. I've never, I don't even know what this stuff is. I'll have to read about it. Then there is another Bare Minerals Bare Skin in the color Bare Linen. Looks like that. A Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream. Let me smell this. Oh my, that smells good. Then there is a Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush in the color Shell. Looks like that. A The Pore Professional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. That's by Benefit. A It Cosmetics um, Beauty Flip. Beauty foundation in the color rich. Looks like that. Done a lot of foundations. Oh yes. I didn't think I got this because like there was like tons more, but I had to hurry. Because if you watched the previous video, like there were people coming in and out, so I just grabbed what I could get without looking. This is the uh Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I've always wanted to try this and now I get to. So it's freaking awesome. Another Bare Minerals um, Ready Foundation. So, yay. A It Beauty, let's see, CC Plus Bill Beauty Fluid Foundation in medium. Looks like that. And this is like done, done with. There's nothing in it, so that's going in the trash. A, what is this? Sunscreen, again, I think. And, and they put damaged on it. They're not damaged. I guess it's where people returns them. Then another Bare Minerals um, concealer in the color Well Rested. A Stila. I don't know how to pronounce that. Someone even gonna say it. Those of you that buys this stuff, let me know. Magnificent Metals Lip Gloss, which I don't really use stuff that's lip gloss forms unless it's like, you know. I just mainly use the eyeshadows and the foundations. Then here is a NYX Love and Rio in the color Gabbana Boy. And like this color here is crushed, but I can fix that some way. I need to learn how to do that. So that's a no biggie. And then let's see what this is. This is in the color Coral, and it is a lipstick. Let's see. But I learned at the end of the month, or at the beginning of the month, is when they dump that stuff out. And this has never been even used. So it looks like that. It's a real corally color. So I may try that out. Looky here. Lipstick Queen. Who does that remind you of, guys? The Lip Balm Queen. Okay. There's a bunch of little things in here. This is a no tug waterproof gel eyeliner and then a Mali waterproof eyeliner. This is broke. It's a hair hair thing. And then a brightening gold mineral veal powder or whatever it is. A Dermal clay cleanser. Just a lot of small things. Horsepower nail nail fertilizer by Butter London. That's cool. It looks like that. Then there is a 
another lip balm or lipstick by that brand right there. Stila or whatever the crap you want to call it. A lights camera flash flashes. Well, that's freaking cool. That's uh, that's mascara in this tube right here. That's weird, but cool at the same time. And it looks like that. I'm gonna put that one with that. And then a another one of those lip glosses. Moon Candy Nail Polish. That looks interesting. Looks like that. And then all of these other things are like full coverage, waterproof concealer, just little things like that. And then a Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. And then another one of those in the bigger one. Spocking cream wax high up redken for men. That'll be good for Justin because he does his hair like that. He locks boxes his bangs up. A Japanese Velvet Touch Foundation Airbrush Skin Enhancer in the color. I have no idea. Right, right there. Shade shade something 07 and it this says this was $36 so let's see oh crap I dropped everything so this has been used as you can see I must have didn't like that how it worked let's see Bye bye under eye cream. And then a Prestige, I guess, palette. There's one shadow right here that's not been crushed. Right here. These two right here have been crushed. Or broke, or whatever you want to call it. More bare minerals. I need to start using this stuff because this is like high end makeup and I've got a lot of it now. So I need to steer away from my Dollar Tree makeup and start using this high-end makeup for a while. See how different it will make my face look, if any different. But I did try some of that Perfusion. I, I don't know if that's the name of it, but it's the one that came in, I think, last month or the months before Ipsy Bag. And that stuff works really good. It's by Urban Decay, I think. I love that. I got it on now, but my makeup's like, you know, I've had it on all day and it's kind of smeared. A Bare Skin Pure Brightening uh, Foundation in the color Bare Linen. Another Damaged Palette or Blush or whatever it is. A NYX Nude Matte in the color Leather and Lace. It looks like that. That's a pretty color. So, I would dumpster dive for this stuff any day of the week to get all this high-end products. You better believe it. A brow power, brow power Universal Pencil in the color... Is it Universal? Crap, who knows? Let's see. It looks black or dark brown. So I won't be using this stuff either because I don't, my hair's blonde. A Urban Decay eyeshadow and it's a law, it's the color Lost. And it looks like this. And it's, ooh, this is a real pretty color. I love browns. I've been wearing a lot of browns here lately. And it's real 
creamy, which you would know that it would be since it's high in makeup. Love that. I need to leave that out, too. A light, I think it's a purr foundation. A stilia and the metallic rose quartz. I bet y'all are laughing your butts off at me. Because I can't, ooh, what is this? Magnificent Metals Full Finish Eyeshadow. So what the crap? I don't even know how to do this. It's got a little tin. It's got the name on it. And then this stuff along with this. I'll have to be looking into that. Let's see. And it's like big old chunks of glitter. It looks like diamonds, but it's not diamonds. Who knows how that works? I don't know a lot about how to use some of this makeup. Calla Lily eyeshadow. And it's like broke too. Another NYX nude matte color in birthday suit. And then all of these other things are like really small. I'm not even going to get all this crap one by one and show you. Just more liners and lipsticks. A few more foundations. A Another lipstick. And then a tea, shit. a tea Tree Flawless BB Cream. And then a sharpener. And then I was super excited about getting this. The first haul that I did that day, I seen all this stuff and I had to I had to leave because I had to go back and pick my kids up from school. So when my husband got back, I hauled back up there to get this stuff. And this was the first thing that I was wanting to get that day, but I heard somebody and that day, the first time that I got in there. Like, I heard somebody, so I jumped up, and I grabbed what I had in a small box, and I jumped out, and there were two men ha had a big old meat tray carrying it back into the store. Because it's like, Ulta is like around a lot of different stores, and there's like one big entrance for like all of the stores to go in and out with, the workers and stuff. But I got this um, Speed Freak hair dryer, and it looks like this. I have used this. It's, you know... A lot of times they'll cut the cords and stuff because I've seen like some people haul and they cut damage on stuff. But this one is perfectly fine. It looks like this, which is freaking awesome. And it's got hot, warm, cool, high, low, and then of course off. And the cords, you know, still attached. And I think that's like an eighty dollar hair dryer because we looked it up. So that's a freaking score. But anyways. Everybody was wanting to see what I got, and that's what I got. So, it's a pretty good dang haul, I think. So, can't wait to go back. And when I go back, I hope I score some more. But anyways, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.